Hi, I'm Dr. John Koharchuk, Chief of the Division of Thoracic Surgery at Penn Medicine. On behalf of your physicians, nurses, and members of your care team, we thank you for entrusting your surgical care to us. The purpose of today's videos is to walk you through the surgical experience. We hope to eliminate some of the anxiety you and your family may be feeling. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to ask one of your team members. When you arrive to the preoperative area in the hospital, a receptionist greets you and will confirm your name and date of birth and will place an ID band on your wrist. You will then be seated in the reception area with your family. You will be brought back to the preoperative receiving area once the OR notifies the preop nurse that the OR is almost ready for you. Your family will wait in the reception area while the nurse helps prepare you for the OR. The nurse or nursing assistant will obtain a weight and your vital signs. The nurse will then review your history, current health state, and your home medications with you. Please be sure to bring a list of your home medications with you to compare with what we have in our system to update the list if necessary. Your list should include all medications that you take at home, including vitamins, prescription medications, supplements, and any over-the-counter medications that you take regularly, as well as all of the dosages and how often you take these medications. Make sure you mention medications that your doctor has asked you to hold prior to surgery. Please keep this list with you during your admission. A member of the surgical team will place an intravenous line in you so that we can ensure that you receive the medications you need during your stay. You may also receive preoperative pain medication with a sip of water. These medications help treat surgical pain before the surgery so that you have less pain after surgery. We will ask you to change into a hospital gown and socks only. Please be sure to not bring any valuables and remove all jewelry before coming to the hospital. No jewelry will be permitted into the operating room, including wedding rings. You may be offered a pain catheter by the anesthesia team before surgery as well. Once your assessment and preparation for the OR is complete, this may include hair clipping if necessary, your family will be brought back to stay with you until you go back to the operating room. You will be visited by members of the surgical and anesthesia team during your time in the pre-op area, and we will do everything we can to make you as comfortable as possible. Our nurses can provide warm blankets, televisions, and other means of comfort during your time in the pre-op area. When the operating room is ready, you will be wheeled back to the room where you will again be greeted by surgical staff. You will either walk to the table or slide over, and from there, the anesthesia staff will work to help you safely go off to sleep for the procedure. Your family can wait for your procedure to be finished in the surgical family waiting room. The hospital staff can give them directions. The surgical team will update your family as well. After your surgery is complete, you will come to the recovery room, also known as the post-anesthesia care unit, or PACU, directly from the operating room. In the recovery room, you may see several nurses at your bedside. A heart monitor, blood pressure cuff, and oxygen monitor will be placed on you. You will likely have supplemental oxygen to help you recover from your surgery. As this is happening, the surgical and anesthesia doctors will be speaking to your primary nurse to tell them about everything that occurred in the operating room. We will be assessing you and doing vital signs frequently. You will also have a chest x-ray performed in the recovery room. After most procedures, you will have a chest tube coming out of your chest near where you were operated on. You may also have a pain catheter in your back to assist with pain management depending on what the anesthesia team and surgical team decide. You will also have intermittent compression devices that are on your legs to help prevent blood clots. These squeeze your calves intermittently and can be removed when you get out of bed. They will remain on you when you're in bed or in the chair throughout your hospital stay. You can expect to feel drowsy or out of it, and this is normal. It often takes several hours for the effects of anesthesia to clear. You may also experience pain. We will work to treat your pain using different methods and medications. We cannot guarantee that you will be free of pain when you leave the recovery room, but our goal is to lessen the pain to a level that is acceptable to you. Shoulder pain is very common for most patients having lung surgery, and can be challenging to treat. 
The most frequently used methods to treat this pain are hot or cold packs and repositioning. After your surgery is completed, your physicians will most likely go to speak to your family and give them an update. Once you are settled in the recovery room, your family can be called to come up and see you. While your family is welcome to spend as much time with you as possible, we ask that there be only two visitors with you at a time. Once you are fully recovered from anesthesia, you will be transferred to a thoracic surgical unit. If rooms are unavailable at the moment, you will remain in the recovery room until one becomes available. This concludes the perioperative portion of our thoracic surgery video.